science. Morning everybody, this is Mr. G live um, from the future. See I'm a hologram nowadays, that's how we roll. And uh, I'm going to teach you a bit about ecosystems. So basically ecosystems are uh, the plants and animals, everything that live together, together, getting on. So what do plants need? Light, water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, warmth, minerals. Animals need oxygen, food and water. Also they've got to know where to live, where to hide, where to shelter and potentially uh, avoid other predators. Uh, they also got to have more of their own species for procreation, otherwise it all stops. Okay, so you've got communities, which are basically the organisms that interact with each other in the ecosystem, and they are made up of populations of different species. They are interdependent because they need each other, so they rely on one another to exist for food or shelter or for uh, indirect reasons. Uh, abundance is how many of something there is in an area. For example, in a classroom there is an abundance of children uh, in mine, not right now, uh, and you basically count who's there. So you can work out the population size by taking samples. Now in my classroom it would be quite straightforward, I just count the amount of people in there, but it would be difficult to then uh, measure the abundance of students in the entire school. What you probably do is you probably work out how many people in my classroom times it by the amount of classrooms, that's where you end up with an estimate. Um, but in biology, we use a quadrat, which is a piece of wire uh, frame. Basically, you throw it down on the ground, you figure out what uh, is the population of your specific species, and then you multiply that by the amount of area that you've been measuring, divided by the total area of the quadrats that you've used. Food webs are pretty straightforward. They are different than food chains because they are interconnected. So, for example, you can see the pondweed is linked to the mayfly larva and the pond snail. But then the microscopic plants also link to the pond snail and the mayfly larva, and now the microscopic animals. So, the mayfly larva in the middle seems to be getting on eating lots and being eaten by lots. Remember the arrow indicates the direction of energy flow. Heron at the top here, he's a top predator because nothing messes with him. He uh, or she does not get eaten by anything. Apex predator. Uh, there's your exam question, two marks. Two ways which organism in a community are interdependent. Remember, interdependent means needs each other. Pause now if you want, have a think about it. There you go. So you need, need each other for food and maybe need each other for shelter. Obviously these uh, videos will get much better as we go along, lots more gadgets and uh, special effects and probably get a drone in there at some point um, but keep going keep working hard it's all a bit weird for everyone but it'll be worth it if you stick at it see you next time make good life choices